I'm sorry, but no, you cannot. You cannot yell at me and disrespect me like that and expect me to keep staying. I'm not trying Facts. to disrespect you. I literally just try to tell you, listen to me. I have Don't been listening. Don't listen. Look at this girl. She's so sassy. She's like, I'm gonna just paint my nails, put you on speaker in front of my friends. You cannot talk to me like that. Damn right. You cannot talk to me like that. I have a feeling he wasn't just telling her to like listen. He was probably telling her like, shut up, listen to me. Like, you know, he was probably not just telling her like, I just told you to listen. No, you probably didn't. Oh my God. Who the f is she? Are we at Walmart? That is your mother home. Who the f is she? What you do? I have to follow you. What you do? Take off my shoes. Take off my shoes. I got the for your birthday. Take them off. You're taking them off. Take them off. I want those. Take them off. Take them off. Yep. 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 That's probably the most intense, like, caught cheating video I've seen. Wow. In Walmart? I love how he's like, oh, it's my homegirl, bro. Mm -mm. She followed you. She straight up has been following you. You got caught. I honestly didn't think he was going to take off, her sh like, his shoes. No offense, but, like, that's disgusting. Pardon my language. <laughs> Bare feet in Walmart out of all places? No, no, I don't care. I would never take my shoes off. Do you guys keep? Okay, so say you end the relationship or the relationship ends. Do you ask for the stuff back that you bought that person? I've never asked for stuff back that, back that I've bought people. Even the person in my life who, who was unfaithful, I did not ask for stuff back that I bought them. Like, what would I do with it? I don't care. I bought it for you, obviously, at the time. Birthday girl is cheating. <gasps> no way is this real. That's not is this real? Is this real? Oh my god, if that's real. Oh my god, if that's real. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? That's gonna be the worst birthday of their life, if that's real. Happy birthday. They have kids? Oh no, where's this story going? Good for you. Oh, I have goosebumps on my arm. That was so sweet. Like, obviously, not a good time what you went through, but I love to see this girl. Freaking get it. I love to see when people are finally able to move on from something that's not doing them anything and it's very toxic and they move on and they freaking thrive. I love it. I love it. I'm so freaking happy for you. I'm proud of you. Good for you. That's the best revenge, y'all. 1422, not this again. Just call my room number if you don't believe me. I just asked to be connected to you and they said no Jackie Blank was staying in the hotel. I asked if Tom Blank was and they connected me to room 1422. I can't believe you think I'm this stupid. Oh, okay. So you literally said just call my room number if you don't believe me. Oh, because then you could have picked up the phone because you're there, but you're there with Tom. Sketchy. Sketchy freaking people. Dude, I'm freaking out. Shoot, call you in two in the car with my parents. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm thinking of pulling out of paradise. Dude, I'm shaking. Who knows and how? We've been so careful. What happened? Sorry, I'm not gonna let the phone charge. I'm gonna let the phone charge for a bit. Call you back. Did you talk to Cassie? Don't stress, we'll figure it out. Easier said than done. Can we just take the day to think? It's not something we can undo. I don't want to make the decision hastily. Well, what are you leaning towards? I think it may be better to be honest. I honestly don't know. Oh my God, what's happening? Who cheated? Well, I just don't think you will feel any more comfortable and sure if we have another day to think I guess just let's just be honest We effed up so bad. 
if we play it off as not being a big deal, then it's not everyone hooks up in this world. Uh, it's gonna be, yeah, but not everyone is you and me. I'll call you in a bit, we can talk more. Okay then, so I'm assuming one of them cheated. Like one of them's in a relationship, maybe they're both in a relationship, but I feel like the people around them are gonna, maybe, they're, maybe they've cheated and they're like, if there's friends in the group involved or maybe they're both in relationships, but they're saying we effed up bad. So like they're both in trouble. Ugh, I don't like the whole everyone hooks up. If we say it's not a big deal, it's not. I don't think that's how it works. Look. Give me your phone now. <laughs> Give me your phone now. My ears. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I hate that so much. Third dealing with toxic couples. Give me your phone now. He's getting texts from someone and she wants to see him. Probably because you've been unfaithful. I mean, there is also toxic people who are insecure and they lash out like this, even if you haven't done anything unfaithful. So like, I can't judge, you know? It really sucks when you're around couples like that. Couples who always freaking fight. Oh my God. Uh, I like won't even be around them. I just can't deal with it. No, no, no. It's so annoying. Figure it out. And if you can't figure it out, move on. Stop it, stop Wait, it, stop so it. So which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If she can't see that though. Was that my boyfriend? Is that what you guys saw? I'm sure there's some explanation though. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. <gasps> No way is this real. Oh, I hope that's not real. That would be so bad. Like what a way to get exposed. Oh, I just don't get why would they all be inside on this couch and like one girl is outside by herself and like they've hooked up her phone to the TV or she has and didn't realize. Like how would she not see through the window that they're all reacting to the TV? Like, I don't know if this is real or not. I have my reservations, but if it is real, that's not good. That's really not good. My girl legit took 20 minutes ordering the drive-thru last night. Those Whoppers were worth it though. Um, excuse me, I don't recall going last night or ever liking Burger King. Who are you talking about? Oh, answer your phone. <gasps> How do you even comment this on social media when you have a girlfriend and you know for a fact you didn't take her to Burger King last night? Bro, bro. Oh, you dummy. I mean, you totally deserve to be exposed, but like what a dumb. So great, you were with another girl last night and you guys went through a drive-thru to Burger King. Cool. She was convinced that he was the one, okay? So then a couple months ago, no, it was a month ago, yeah. she told me that like $1,000 was stolen out of her bank account. And the bank said today, like the other day and was like, oh, um, we can't refund you for the, the charges because half of it was used with like all of her information, like her security card, everything like that. And oh, this is they not found good. that that transaction was a plane ticket under his name. <gasps> so oh, no. he was stealing from her. Oh shoot. Dude, this is serious business. This is some serious tea right now. I feel like I'm involved in all these relationships and like I'm friends with these people and like, oh my God, you'll never guess this person cheated on me. They were stealing from me. I feel like I'm involved. I like it. Love the tea. All right, guys, well, I feel like you can all relate to this. Like I said, we've probably been in a toxic relationship or we know someone who has been or is. Let me know in the comments your experiences down below. Today's sassy shout out goes to Selena. Love that name, That's it's spelt so pretty. They said, love the clips. Favorite part of watching your clips is when you do a story time. Stay sassy. I have a lot of stories. I try to talk and tell the stories as quickly as possible, you know, because uh, I don't need to like waste everyone's time. But I'll try to tell more stories now that I know people are into it. I feel like I just yab, like, blab on forever, but now that I know you guys might be into it, maybe I'll share some of my own stories, okay? Leave a like, subscribe, do all the things, stay classy. Stay sassy and um, get out of those toxic freaking relationships, okay? You deserve better. Bye. This is what you get for breaking up with the psychopath. Hi. My purse and everything is gone. My window is completely smashed, man. Oh my gosh. Honey, all I gotta say is I am happy you left when you did. Can you freaking imagine dealing with that kind of anger for the rest of your life? Cause you can't even tell me this person doesn't have anger issues. That's gonna be a hefty bill on his end though, girl. Don't you worry. You gonna get yourself a new car? Don't worry. It's all gonna be good. I honestly wish you had a follow up to this so I could see how you're doing now. Cause I bet you are just living your best life.
Hey, uh, something traumatic happened that changed Crazy my life. Crazy ex-boyfriend. Oh, wait. He's getting closer. Get oh, be safe. safe. Be safe. Be safe. Oh my. Y'all, that's scary. That is real scary. I don't know. I didn't I didn't trust him for a second. I thought it might like crash into your car, throw something at you and make you get in an accident. This is scary stuff. Why are y'all dating crazy people? Cut it out. Crazies need to be single. That's how I feel about him. What it's like having a crazy stalker as an ex. <gasps> Look at him showing up. I love you. It's not over. It's over. Oh, well, I love you. Oh, he's showing up again. Leaving stuff on the porch. Is that what you're doing? Oh, well. Bro. Leaving me gifts one day, then tagging my house the next. Uh, that is pretty. You know what? I want to know what he did. He's clearly apologetic and doesn't want it to end. So I bet he cheated or something like that. Cause that's how it always goes. My ex-boyfriend cheated and then he continued to buy me freaking gifts. Like even though we weren't together and he would just like be like, oh, I just saw it and thought of you and God, if it's like, you better know I took them though and used every single one of them as I deserved. It was like a Kate Spade laptop case, some van shoes. Oh shit. I use that. I use the shit out of them. Crazy X level 100. Here. And he made 150 Holy plus Instagram accounts God. after being blocked. Holy shit. How does he have that many emails? He emailed me like. Wait, wait, wait. go slower so I can see the names. Can we talk now, please? <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> oh. Please read by him. Wow. Please read the post. <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh. The time that would take, I get so angry when I forget a password to one email and then you have to reset it and blah, blah, blah. So can you imagine creating over 150 different emails and accounts just to try and message someone? Take the freaking hint after the first fake account. Like literally it took over 150 for you to realize she's not gonna answer you. That That's restraining order stuff right there. Let me tell you that. Guys, this is why you don't date a psychopath. You wanna see what I came home to from work? I do wanna see, yes. Here you go. TV one. <gasps> My mirror broken. There's gasoline poured everywhere. I mean, everywhere. gasoline. Oh my god. Through the couches outside, <gasps> poured gasoline everywhere. Destroyed both TVs. My couches are in the front yard. Girl, you should not be in that house. Like, I'm honestly worried. Like, my first thought is if there's gasoline there, you don't know what anything can happen. You need to be calling the cops. You need to get an ambulance there. You need to get a cleaning crew there. If you even lit your stove in that house, like, who knows? It could freaking explode. Oh my goodness. You know, here I am calling some of my exes crazy, but like, they look like Mother Teresa next to this person. My psychotic ex-boyfriend saw me looking at tattoos back when I had one small tattoo on my foot and he said you know one day you're gonna have to choose between me and tattoos me being confused because he had almost gotten a tattoo the week before and knew that I mm -hmm. wanted tattoos and loved tattoos I looked at him and went tattoos and I left and that was it why would you have to choose between someone and tattoos then there's no choice Goodbye. I'm getting tattoos, so it's your choice if you want to be with me or not. That's how that goes. It's not that choice is not mine. I'm, I'm choosing to get tattoos for myself. You choose what you want to do, boo. That's some crazy stuff right there. I'm sorry, but no, you cannot. You cannot yell at me and disrespect me like that and expect me to keep staying. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I literally just try to tell you, listen to me. I, have I honestly wish I could like hear more because I didn't hear what he was saying to disrespect you Like I trust you for sure. Like you can tell he's angry, but girl, why are you staying? Why are you staying? Don't stay. I honestly didn't hear enough of the crazy. I kind of wish I did um, So my ex got a tattoo of me today uh, with bangs. So um, What I have to say to that is I no longer have bangs, sir <laughs> so, um, That's not me that you got tattooed. I love her okay. Don't know who that is. Oh my god, I love her. It's not me. I now look like this. I love her. And I don't want to hear about it. 
this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Like honestly, like I'll, I'll freaking put a ring on. This girl deserves to be wiped up. That is hilarious. Honestly, I would do the same thing if so. One of my exes got a tattoo of me. I honestly would dye my hair blonde. I would dye my hair blonde. I'd get like a bob. I would like totally, I'd freaking wear blue eye contacts. I would just change my entire appearance. Like, that's not me. I don't know who that girl is, but that's not me. It's the ultimate revenge for someone who gets a tattoo of you. <laughs> Completely change your look. I love you. It's hilarious. Dude, seriously, what the? No, the night after three years. Oh, after it. three years? Ah. All right, I made the attempt. About what? Legally, I made the attempt. Never mind. Talking to me about what? 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 Is it that serious? What? Is it that serious? It's been years. It's been years. I know. Are you that pissed off still? Are you that pissed off at me still? What is there to talk about? Are you that mad at me still? Oh my gosh. After three years? Bro, you gotta be kidding me. There's no way, if my ex rolled up any of my exes, wish you the best to all of them. Nothing like, okay, nothing bad to say. Like, sure, I got stories, but like, I would never wish them harm. Honestly, I'd be friends with all of them. Good luck, you're in the past, but three years, if y'all can roll it up in the middle of the night, being like, hey, can we talk? I'd be like, but why? Three years, what's there to freaking talk about? That's three years ago. That is almost the length of my time in high school. Like, bro. Different, I'm a different person now. We're in different lives, different parts of our lives. That's some crazy. Part two of crazy lies that my followers' exes have told them. Yes. My ex didn't talk to me for a week and said his phone fell down the side of the bed and was too lazy to get it. But still posted on his snap story though. My ex told me he was going to his family reunion and I caught him sleeping with his cousin in the back of his truck. I do have one question though, was he at the family reunion and then slept with his cousin or is that just what he like named their secret hookups? Like their co word was family reunion. Oh my gosh. What do you mean? Ay, ay, ay. I should just keep some comments to myself, I think. I think it's best. No jokes, Joss. No jokes. Not everyone has your humor. What if I am? Can we keep it? Goodness, this is like a lot more serious than she's laughing at the end, but like this this conversation is actually very serious. They're talking about a possible pregnancy. And then he's like, if you want me to KMS, which I was thinking about what it was, and then I figure it out, it means taking their own life. Girl, this is a serious conversation. I wouldn't be posting this on TikTok and laughing. Damn. These boyfriends out here, you know, just be single until you're ready to be in a mature, non-toxic relationship. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here, but before I do, I'm doing today's sassy shout out, and it goes to Sheila Sloan Montiel. They said, I have to watch daily. You are funny as sh You just tell your mind. I appreciate that. I don't think anyone's ever been like, you're funny as sh I really appreciate that. That means a lot. I'm happy you're here. I do tell my mind. I think that's kind of what inspired the title of the channel, you know? I think it's all about keeping it real, saying how it is. If you guys want to be the next sassy shout out, make sure you're writing things down below. Leave a like, subscribe, do all the things. Stay classy, stay sassy. Bye. Like so stupid that you would post an hour after I post only to like, you're literally fishing for his attention. He literally commented on your post. He, like he didn't even comment on mine. And I'm like the girl he's talking to. If he didn't comment on yours and he commented on mine, isn't that kind of he a He literally sign? saw that you were, he probably saw that you were being desperate. So he felt bad. Like, and he knows that you're my best friend. So he's like, oh, like I feel bad. Like I should probably just so stupid. To build up her self esteem. Honey, if your boyfriend is commenting on other girls' pictures and not yours, that's an issue you need to be taking up with your boyfriend, not your best friend. This is the dumbest conversation I've ever heard. You're talking to the wrong person. Girls always blame the girls, and it's like, um, what about your man's actions, though? Hey, you mad right now? No. You sure you've been looking mad all day? Is there something I should be mad about? Did you do something that's gonna get me mad? Bro, I don't have <laughs> you don't get mad for no reason. <laughs> well, you might as well tell me right now. You look guilty. Okay, have fun. So tell me what you did. Bye. I love how Larry's like, are you mad? And it just 360 flip, manipulate the situation. What did you do? You're asking if I'm mad because you're guilty and then it just turned into something completely.
completely like, no, I was just asking if you were all right. Girls do that sometimes, yes. Although men also do, and I have a prime example in my head and in my memory, crazy chick. They have her in their phone as crazy chick. That's never a good thing. I wish you all the unhappiness in the world. You get it all back. I wish you failure, loneliness, and I hope you're stuck with a poopy job and marry, and marry a sorority mom who cheats on you, wastes your money, and poops a couple of stupid brats that will hate you. That's where your life is going away. Anyway, alcoholism includes, oh my God. Yo, I can't even read this because <laughs> she's a lot going on. I'm tired and there's a lot going on. Basically, this crazy chick is wishing you a lifetime of unhappiness. But at the same time, she's not even wishing you a life because she does wish death upon you at one point. Marry a sorority mom who cheats on you and then you have kids that hate you. I mean, I feel like that sounds like 80% of marriages. Oh my God, another crazy chick. Please answer, see you tomorrow when I'll stalk you. Oh, great. I don't have time to stalk you, come on. I have 30, I have a 30 page paper to write, so stop making my life so effing hard. I'm also rich, so I don't need grades. Never mind, I'll stalk you. Wear a helmet, because I'm gonna beat the living beep out of you. Wow, yo, this is okay. I thought, when you put crazy check, I'm like, mm, okay, men always call girls crazy. This is crazy, this is insane. Like, first of all, I like how they're getting mad. Like, stop making my life difficult. I'm trying to stalk you, but I have a paper to write. Like, how do you not hear how insane that sounds. Adam, where'd you sleep last night? Because it wasn't here. I set traps to see if you were gonna sleep here. You didn't, don't lie to me. That was a test and you did exactly what I thought you were gonna do. Now I know, I would like to hear it from you. By the way, you have no right to be mad at me if you went out in secret and lied about it. And then I love you no matter what you did last night. Oh my God, no. No, okay, there's a lot of things wrong with this. Number one, you're acting a little cray cray. Number two, if they did sleep and cheat on you, that's a different story. I don't know and I'm not gonna accuse them, but if they did, you shouldn't be ending it with I love you no matter what you did last night. No, no, no. Because if they did cheat, you know, let's stand our ground. Peace out, you don't deserve it. I don't know, I feel like this is just someone overreacting. He literally could have just like slept at friends or slept at his house, you know what I mean? Crazy girlfriends be like, where you at? Why are you not texting me back? Like, oh my God, I miss you. You probably talking to another beep. Tell that beep, I said what's up. <laughs> Yeah, this is a crazy girlfriend. That's exactly what a crazy girlfriend. There was like so many emotions. It's like, where are you at? Sad. Then it's like concern. Then it's sad because I miss you. Then it's like angry. And then it's like, fine, I'm gonna be like sarcastic and sassy. Tell her I said, hey. She does not want you to tell her that she said, what's up? That's like the most sarcastic crazy girl thing to say. It's like, tell her I said hi. It's like, don't tell her I said hi. Oh my God, where are all these crazy chicks? Do you boop someone else? Die. Can you block me? I won't stop texting you. I hate you, ugly beep. You're a psycho and I'm getting tested for, it'll be censored anyway, cause YouTube censors it. So we'll just not say it. And it wasn't even worth it. I beepin, hate you, block me. Wow. There's just a lot of hate. This is a lot of anger. And you know what? All this anger is doing more damage to you and your life and your mental health and your success. I'm surprised they haven't blocked the number. Block me, like just do what they say. Do what Crazy Chick says, block her, probably for the best. Be on your way, live in peace. You think you make the rules? You mess with my night tonight? I'll never speak to you again. Try me the F out. You better tell me now because I'm blocking and deleting you in 10 minutes, a-hole. Last effing time, I'm telling you, you effing beep. You told me you were coming today. Are you effing bipolar? By the way, you should message me very fast because I have a good idea of what I will do tonight at the effing club, idiot. I'm not coming, have fun. I'm not effing around about tonight. You don't show up. You don't effing talk to me. Wow, okay, this is so much. This is so much. Like, look at everything they wrote. And then he says, I'm not coming, have fun. Like, just point blank, could have reacted with anger, saying, you're freaking crazy, but you just, I'm not coming. Have fun. Good job. Either get your effing mm -hmm. to my house or talk tonight or never come back. I swear to God, I dare you. I will delete and block your number right now if you don't come tonight to see and talk to me. You come tonight or don't bother talking to me ever again and you will be lonely. Beep. Without me, you tried to ruin my entire weekend on a Friday. You treat me like this all because I was tired and in a bad mood yesterday. You don't come today, you're done. Think I'm joking? Try me out, I dare you. Like, just do they really think this makes them want to go over and talk to them? If someone was talking to me like this, like come over tonight or talk, I would block their number and never talk to them again. Like, that is not a way to get me over there to talk to you. That's crazy. 
I'm just going, okay, I'm not reading all this nonsense. Let's just take a look at this together, okay? I'm, I'm not reading this all, this is crazy. I'm just going to keep texting you till you respond. And she's talking about dreams and then it's like, I love you. Well, this was awkward, by the way, I'm a lesbian. I hope you understand. I'd be so annoyed if you did this to me. Should I straighten or curl my hair? I just realized your phone could possibly be off, blah, blah, blah. I'm totally kidding. Overly obsessed girlfriend, it made us joint Facebook account. Okay, keeps talking to herself. I'm gonna come jump on your bed. Didn't answer, obviously. If you don't respond in T minus five minutes, I'm calling you, your phone is off. Ha ha ha, I'm seriously gonna kill you. Oh my God, wow. They're literally having a conversation with themselves. Wouldn't you stop, like at any point in time, when, you, when you're just talking to yourself, like doesn't it click in, like I'm talking to myself. If they wanna answer you, they will answer you. Everyone is on their phone. They wanna answer, they will answer, take the hint. You're a psycho. Oh God, telling a psycho girl they're psycho? You're asking to be in the next true crime documentary. I'm not psycho, I'm crazy. What's the difference? Crazy is telling you that I wanna kill you. Psycho is, act psycho is actually killing you. Crazy is watching your Snapchat 20 times to figure out who you're with. Psycho is showing up to where you are to find out for myself. Crazy is getting pregnant and keeping it to keep you. Psycho is telling you I'm on the pill and I'm not, so when you actually get me pregnant. Crazy is when you F me over and I burn all the clothes you left at my house. Psycho is when you F me over and I burn your house down. Crazy is stalking everything Every girl that comments on your picture, Psycho is messaging all of the, oh my God. So she literally gives examples of how she could be crazy, but she's even crazier. And like very detailed, specific examples. Like that, that's your cue to leave. Like she just wrote out in text what your life will be like if you continue to date her. All right guys, well those are some toxic girlfriends. Got exposed and they probably should. And I hope they're no longer your girlfriends because it's just not a healthy relationship for anybody. Hey, no offense to these ladies. It's all good, but we need to work on ourselves before getting into a relationship, you know? Before I get out of here though, I'm doing today's sassy shout out and it goes to Teal Rose. They said, my family and I once went to the the wrong wedding. We even put a gift up on the gift table when we found out we ended up having to take the gift back. How do you go to the wrong wedding? You know what? No, that's actually, I understand how you could because the, we have big halls in my hometown and you'd have multiple weddings in different halls in one big building. So I understand you probably walked in, put your gift down, maybe went and got a drink, looked for your table, and then you were like, we're at the wrong wedding. Hey, if you want to be the next Sassy Shadow, make sure you are talking some smack down below. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, do all the things. I'm at 20K. Thank you so much for helping me get there. I'm excited. I'll see you in another video. Stay classy and stay sassy, of course. But not toxic. There's a difference. All right, this is toxic relationships that needed to end. One. <laughs> I could name a few of those in my life. You will not speak to me that way. <gasps> <clears throat> wow, I guess I need water. Oh, mama mia. Ugh, the lemon almost went in my mouth. Mm, wow, my hair's whatever. Oh, that's it. What time am I at? Oh, good. This mother sound doesn't want to work. Honestly, I don't know why we buy AirPods for them just to not freaking work. Connected, but you're not though. You're not. Thank you so much for being useless. Also, thanks for costing almost $300 to be useless. That's great too. I'm gonna lose my freaking mind, y'all. Mm, what am I doing? Oh, the hell was that noise? I just heard something spooky. Okay, the rest are pictures and these AirPods are pissing me off today. So I'm gonna put them back in their case and then kiss my yeah. Took me four times to get them connected today. I need a new pair. <laughs> Excuse me. I am so not a lady. Oh my God. Six, hold on. Something in my eyeball. <laughs> Just looking at this, I don't wanna read it. It's making me yawn. I don't have energy for these crazy people. How do the people dating them have energy? <laughs> oh my God. I think a demon just left my body. Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.